All right, for this exercise, we're going to work on hip abduction and adduction with an element of rotation. So abduction means we're abducting away from the body. <clears throat> so I'm going to work on my top leg in this exercise. I'm going to lift straight up, and then I'm going to draw a big circle as far as I can, all the way in the front, all the way in the back, and I'm going to continue to work those circles. Uh, I'm going clockwise for this first set. Right in here is a challenging position. Don't skip it. Don't speed through it. Try to fight through it, fight through it. Try to work those edges and those corners. Once you've done the selected number of reps, we're just going to go in reverse. So I'm going to lift straight up, but now I'm going counterclockwise, working that same kind of hard angle forward, just reaching around the clock, making as big a circles as I can make. Okay, so that's abduction circles, clockwise, counterclockwise. If you need more stability, don't be afraid to put your hand on the ground, give some support that way. Squeeze, make a fist, grab on something around you, whatever it might be. The next version is adduction hip circles. So now I'm going to work the bottom leg. I'm going to bring the top leg up in front. And I'm just going to kind of hang on to it, keep it out of the way. <clears throat> and we're going to do the same thing we just did, but with the bottom leg. So I'm going to lift into a deduction, adduction, bringing it closer to the body. And now I'm going to draw a circle. I'll start clockwise, big circle forward, all the way around, trying to work those hard corners. And then we'll flip it into counterclockwise lift, counterclockwise circles. Okay, obviously you want to do that on both sides, but that should be a nice one to kind of work some weird ranges of motion that you normally don't target in through the hips.